Okay, so I am going to be putting on the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer. I am really just trying to get rid of this stuff. I just, <sighs> I wanna move on to a new primer and this is a huge bottle. So, I mean, for how much it is and how much product you get in the bottle is like crazy because this will last you forever but i'm trying to get rid of it so that's why i'm using it in basically every single video so i'm going to be putting on this smashbox studio skin 15 hour wear foundation this is in 2.15 and i am going to use a brush i've been using a brush for this lately i'm not sure why i decided to but i just have um and i'm going to be using the sigma what is this f80 kabuki brush to blend that out um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to tap on my face because i don't want um to have the streaks brush streaks on my face so that's why I'm gonna tap it out except for like on my neck of course I'm gonna bring it down I think this mama needs to get tan because this is looking a little too dark for my skin but we'll have to work with it and I really don't know what's going on with my skin seriously I don't know why it's like constantly breaking out it's really irritating Okay, and because it is a little bit, um, it is a little bit darker than my skin, um, I am gonna bring it down on my neck so that it looks a little bit more even. I need, I need the sun this summer. <laughs> That's what I need, and then I will be fine with this color. I'm so sorry I have not been doing videos lately. I just feel so bad. I've been in like a, I've just been in like this rut of not knowing what to do, not wanting to set up my filming space and just, I don't know, just been struggling with it and not knowing like what videos I want to do. I don't know. It's just been hard recently. So, but I feel like I am finally back into it. So I'm excited. Okay, so now on to concealer. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in Light Medium Honey. Um, I think I need a new container because I think I'm running out. Make sure when you put on your concealer, you look up because it makes it easier to make sure that concealer gets, it gets um, really high up into the eye and you can get close um, it just helps it just helps me and I also really like the Tarte Shape Tape as like an eye primer I think it's really good for that so it's nice because it can be a two-in-one product which is awesome let me know if there's any um, drugstore concealers that you guys like because I really want to do a drugstore like all drugstore makeup look um, because I do use a variety of drugstore and then high-end and so I want to do something that's just drugstore so let me know what you guys like because it's hard to move away from the Tarte Shape Tape so okay I'm going to take my cover FX I have the cover FX setting powder right here and I'm gonna set my under eyes and the rest of my face with it. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Mr. Right brush to rest, to set the rest of my face. Okay, now on to brows. Um, I will do those real quick and then I will come right back. Okay, so I finished my brows and I'm gonna go on to my eyeshadow. Today I really just want to make it super simple for some reason. I'm just, that's what I want to do. So what I'm going to do, what I want to do 
I want to use this dark purple color right here, this shade. Um, I don't know what shade, it doesn't say what shade it is. And this is the Wet n Wild Au, Au Natural palette. Um, I want to take that and just put it all over my lid. So I'm going to take the Sigma E25 blending brush and swipe that on here and just put it all over my lid. I love doing something like this because it can be like super easy but create like a nice dark smoky lip I mean not lip eye <laughs> dark I'm surprised this palette is like fantastic guys okay now what I want to do is I want to take okay it, it's a gray it, it's like a purple gray seriously this shade right here I'm gonna take that shade and I'm gonna put it in the crease to kind of help blend um, that purple out in the crease That color is not doing what I want it to do. I'm gonna go in and take the Morphe 35W palette, and I'm just gonna take a light brown, like, like this shade right here. I'm gonna take this, ooh, and then I take this light brown right here and put it in the crease. Tap it. I don't know, I feel like this creates a fast, easy, smoky eye, personally. Okay, and I'm gonna go back into that dark purple and I'm going to just deepen that up on the lid. Okay, so what I like about something like this is it's super easy to achieve and then you can like take it one step further if you wanted. So like for example, I have this Stila Magnificent Metals in Diamond Dust. It's like a silver glitter and what's nice is if I wanted to amp it up even more, I could just put this in the center of my eye and it would look amazing. Um, so I really like this type of smoky eye because it's really easy to do. There's not a lot of steps and it's just all about blending and packing on that color to really get it what you want. So I just really like, I just like it. I'm gonna put on my mascara and lashes and then I will be right back. Okay, so while that lash is drying, I'm gonna quickly do the rest of my face. And I wanna be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm gonna take this Real Techniques Fluffy Brush and dip that in and then just bronze out my face. Okay, all done with my lashes. Now let's go on to highlighter. Okay, so I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlighter. And I'm gonna take my Sigma Tapered F35, F35 Highlighter Brush. And I miss using this brush, guys. Why have I been using it? On my nose. Okay, and I'm going to spritz my face. I like to spritz my face before I put on my lipstick. And 
And I'm going to take my beauty blender and just dab that in. I'm going to take my NYX Lingerie in Seduction and put that on. Okay, so that is the final look for this. Um, I love it, it's so, so easy. It is a quick, easy, smoky eye, just basically one, two colors, uh, depending how you wanna do it. So I, I just love how easy it was. So I'm, I'm so glad that I've been back into doing videos. I've missed YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just let me down, know down below. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be a part of my family YouTube, um, YouTube family. That's what I was trying to say. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.